Hello everyone, my name is Tammy. Now I've already decorated my house up for fall, so now I have some real pumpkins and I'm gonna decorate them up. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. I went with a little bit of a glam theme this year. I did blacks and whites and it really came out very fairy tale like so I'm super pleased with them and even though I wasn't even intending for them to be fairy tale like at first that's just what they look like to me now I hope that this video gives you lots of inspiration and ideas because I want you guys to go out and get a pumpkin after you see this and decorate it up and get creative and have lots of fun with it so let's get started and I'll show you how I decorated up my pumpkins this year Once my pumpkins were cleaned and dried off, I proceeded to paint three out of my five pumpkins an antique white. I started on the bottom here because I wanted to finish up on the top, so I gave it one coat and then let it dry and then gave it another coat. I think it looked much better once it had two coats on it. And then I flipped it over once it was completely dry and proceeded to give it two coats on top and make sure that it had really good coverage. Now this is an antique white paint that I used when I was painting my coffee table so that's what I'm using here it's just like from the hardware store and I just like that it was just slightly off-white so it wasn't like super bright and then I got these gemstones I got a small pack and a large pack and this is from Dollarama but I'm pretty sure you can find these at any dollar store that you have around you if you don't happen to have a Dollarama. Now I really like that these came in little lines. I mean this would have taken me absolutely forever to put on if I had to put each gem on individually. So I'm very happy that they came in these little sets where you have like 10 or 20 gems in all in a row. And I just had to put the big gems by themselves. I had to break up those lines because I just wanted one big gem at the end. So the pattern that I'm doing here is that I'm I'm using two lines of gems on the first curve and then three lines of gems on the second curve and I'm doing that five times all the way around the pumpkin. For the stem, I'm mixing black craft paint with silver metallic craft paint because I wanted to give it a little bit of a shimmer because I do have all of those shiny gemstones and I just thought the matte black wouldn't quite go with it. So that's why I added a little bit of silver to give it a bit of sparkle. Thank you. 
next I'm going to paint the remaining two pumpkins black. I'm just using craft paint here and it had a really nice matte look to it once it dried. I'm using the same procedure that I did with the white pumpkins where I start on the bottom, give it two coats and then flip it over and give it another two coats. For the smaller of the two black pumpkins, I'm going to be doing a gold foil look. So I'm using some crunched up tin foil as well as gold paint and I'm just very lightly dabbing the paint on. Now with this you want to make sure that you don't have too much paint on here. So that's why I just squished it onto the paper a little bit first because otherwise you're just going to have big blobs going on there. You only want just a very small amount of paint and then it will give it the gold foil look. Then I just hot glue gunned on these little leaves that I had left over from my fall decor and put a little gem in the middle and there it is. For this next white pumpkin, I wanted to add some flowers on top, so I made a little wreath out of five of the flowers by twisting the stems together so that that way they had something to attach to. And then I just used my hot glue gun and glued them into place. So this next pumpkin is probably my favorite one, but it is also the messiest. I used a whole lot of Mod Podge on here, which contributed to the mess as well as this loose moss that I have. So the first thing I did is I put a layer of Mod Podge down and then stuck all of this fake greenery onto it. And then afterwards I put the Mod Podge on over top because I really wanted to seal it in and I didn't want it to be a mess afterwards. And falling apart all over the place and it worked but I will warn you that it did take a while for the Mod Podge to dry and then I just hot glue gunned these fake flowers on I used seven larger flowers and then I just interspersed with little flowers in between and then I felt like the top needed a little something as well so I did the same procedure on the top where I put the greenery with the Mod Podge on and then added some little flowers and I think it just looks like a little fairy garden I absolutely love this pumpkin it is definitely my favorite one out of the bunch So for my last pumpkin, I'm using gems again, but this time I'm using little diamonds and pearls and I'm going to be putting them vertically down the pumpkin. I call this one my princess pumpkin because I think it just looks so pretty and it just reminds me of jewelry. My girls also really like this one. I think this one was their favorite, but I think that's also because I end up putting a bird on it at the end and they really like that. So the way that I'm doing this is that I'm putting one line down and then doing the opposite side and then cutting it in half and then cutting it in half again. So basically I'm going to end up with 16 lines in total. Like I said, this is the last pumpkin that I'm going to be creating today. So let me know in the comments below which pumpkin was your favorite. I've already told you mine, which is the fairy garden one, but I want to know your guys's because everybody of course has their own opinions. I truly 
really hope that this video has given you some inspiration and some great ideas to go and get creative with your own pumpkins this Halloween season. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.